Welcome everyone. This is the 13th day of August 2018. We've got uh, several public hearings first. We'll open the public hearings. Do you have a call? Yep. Okay. Mayor Curley. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Mathis. Here. Alderperson Blanks. Duncan. Here. Dunn. King. Here. Noah's. Here. Five All right, so we have a quorum. We'll proceed. The first public hearing, the public hearing ordinance number 1504 to amend ordinance 1485 titled Adopting an Annual Budget and Tax Rate for the Fiscal Year beginning July 1st, 2017 and ending June 30th, 2018. Anyone in the public wish to address the board on this issue? Seeing none, we'll close that public hearing and go into the second public hearing. A public hearing to amend zoning ordinance of the City of Tullamore, Tennessee, which is ordinance number 1392 by amending section. 1006.2 public hearing of article 10 administration anyone in the audience mr lawson can you step to the podium please sir and just um and, and probably just probably just remain there and just describe for us uh, briefly each of these this first public hearing please and this is uh the second one zoning ordinance of the city which is ordinance number 1392 by amending section 1006.2 public hearing article 10 administration it's an amendment to add a notification by mail to adjacent property owners to a property that's being rezoned by mail. Uh, it was uh, given a favorable recommendation by the Planning Commission on June 18th. Okay, very good. All right, no in the audience. So our next public hearing, a public hearing to amend the zoning map of the City of Tullamore, Tennessee, as set forth in the Tullamore Municipal Code, which is Ordinance Number 1392, to rezone a 0.64 acre parcel located at 810 Cedar Lane from C2 General Commercial District to R1 Low Density Residential District. Mr. Lawson. It was a request by the owner. They're wanting to convert the office into a single family home. It is adjacent to other R1 districts. The Planning Commission gave it a favorable recommendation back on June the 18th. Anyone in the audience wish to address the board on that issue? Seeing none, we'll proceed. Uh, Third, fourth public hearing, a public hearing to amend the zoning ordinance of the City of Tullamore, Tennessee, as set forth in the Tullamore Municipal Code, which is Ordinance Number 1392, to rezone an approximately 0.45 acre parcel located at 515 East Warren Street uh, from C2 General Commercial District to R2 Medium Density Residential District. That's a request by the owner to rezone their property to R2 so they can uh, demo a residential structure and rebuild it. It is adjacent to R2 district. Planning Commission gave it a favorable recommendation on July 16th. Okay. And when the audience wants to address the board on this issue. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm John Glad, I'm a member of the property. Let me ask you to step to the podium, please. And for, uh, as part of the public hearing process, provide your name and address, please. John Glavin, uh, 515 East Warren Street. I uh, just wanted to let you know that I do have a picture of the existing structure in case you wanted to see what it is. It's it's an eyesore. I can't wait to get rid of it. Uh, can't move forward with, with the process until we do get the get the zoning change. Well, I suspect it won't be an issue, but if so, I'll let you know. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anyone else in the audience? 
All right, so we'll go to the next public hearing. A public hearing to amend the zoning map of the City of Tillamon, Tennessee, as set forth in the Tillamon Municipal Code, which is Orders Number 1392 to rezone an approximately 3.17 acre parcel located on Kings Lane uh, from C2 General Commercial District to R3 High Density Residential District. Mr. Lawson. Uh, it's a request by the owner to rezone it to accommodate a condominium development. Uh, concept plan was occluded in the packet. Uh, Planning Commission gave it a favorable recommendation on July 16th. Anyone in the audience wish to address this issue? All right. And we'll proceed to our last public hearing. A public hearing to amend the zoning map of the City of Tillamon, Tennessee, as set forth in the Tillamon Municipal Code, which is Order Number 1392, to rezone seven parcels addressed as 1906 North Washington Court, 1908 North Washington Court, 1910 North Washington Court, 2000 North Washington Court, 2004 North Washington Court, 2008 North Washington Court, and 2012 North Washington Court from I-1 Restricted Manufacturing and Warehousing District to R-2 Medium Density Residential District. Mr. Lawson. There's a request by the owners to have their properties rezoned to R-2. Uh, they were R-2 before they were zoned I-1 back in 2009. Uh, there's seven lots, so it wouldn't be, uh, we looked over the spot zoning issue, but it wouldn't apply to this situation. Uh, the Planning Commission gave it a favorable recommendation on July 16th. Good evening, the audience wish to address this issue. Okay, thank you, Mr. Lawson. Okay, we'll call the regular board meeting to order. Let the record reflect Ms. Dillon has joined the meeting. Uh, we've done the roll call. We're very pleased that Reverend Lynn Hendricks is with us this evening. Ask him to step to the podium and offer an invocation. Ask everyone to please stand and remain standing for the pledge. Reverend Hendricks. Would you bow with me in prayer? Uh, gracious Heavenly Father, uh, God of creation, the Lord who made and sustains all of life, we give you thanks for the fact that our lungs are rising and falling, our hearts are beating within our chests. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the grace that you give us each and every day. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would bless this city, that you would uh, give special wisdom to our city leaders. We pray that they could uh, understand not only justice, but also mercy. We ask that this meeting would be pleasing in your sight and uh, an encouragement to the community and also very positive for us in moving forward as a town. We thank you for all these things that uh, you provide, and we pray this in the name of the one true God. Amen. Would you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Reverend Hendricks. Okay. I'm not aware of any proclamations, awards, special presentations tonight. Uh, very pleased to join us tonight is uh, young man Brandon Perry. Uh, Brandon is a very uh, uh, diverse individual in that he's accomplished so much. He has a 4.578 GPA. He's in the top five of his class. He's in dual enrollment at Montlow State Community College. Listen to some of these AP classes, honors classes, AP Calculus 2, AP Calculus, AP U.S. History, AP English Language, Honors Physics, and Honors Chemistry. Whoa. Pretty impressive. Uh, he has a second degree black belt. Did you hear that, Ms. Mathis? So don't, <laughs> aggravate, don't, don't aggravate me tonight. Yeah, but see, I got a first degree. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's great, though. That took some time, didn't it? Uh, Mr. Brand, uh, Mr. Perry has earned multiple, uh, won multiple math competitions. He's an officer of the Key Club, New Alpha Theta, as well as a member of the National Honor Society, National English Honor Society, Student Council, and Mayor's Youth Council. He's also a volunteer in our community. So he's involved in the Senior Citizens Prom, Animal Shelter Drives, Food Drives, Food Banks, and more. So. Uh, Brandon, that's very, very impressive. So, uh, what, what, what are your, your senior? Tell my high school. I'm a senior. So, tell us what you're, you're considering uh, after uh, graduation. Um, well, I've always been interested in technology, so I want to go into computer science. 
because it pays well and it's in very high demand right now. I mean, it's always interested me. And I'm thinking about going to UAH primarily because I've heard that from multiple sources that they have a very good computer science program. And with my scores, I already have a full ride with the board there. Mm -hmm. But I'm also considering things like University of California and like the Institute of Technology of California where the big tech industries are, where like you know the education is good. And I'm also like thinking more local around like Auburn or UT Knoxville as well. Pretty impressive young man. Hey, man. Now, you bet you've not heard all of this yet. Now, you would think with all of that very challenging work that he, school work that he does, that he, there's no way he could find time to work, right? So, uh, he has two jobs. So, tell us about those two jobs and about how many hours a week you work. So, I work at Taco Bell for first job fast food um, for about 25 hours a week, and then I work at JCPenney 10 hours a week. And then I also mow three yards a week. Whoa. Oh, what are you nice. doing in your spare time? Working full time. Oh, that's great. Homework. That's it. You're first of all, I think you have some family with you tonight. I have my mom and dad, Darren and Carolee Perry, yeah. so, as many of you know. Yeah. So welcome, everyone. So uh, congratulations, Brandon. We appreciate you being with us tonight. In a few minutes, uh, we'll be doing our reports. And if you have anything that you'd like to report on, we'll recognize you. If not, that's fine, too. But we appreciate you being with us and um, being such an outstanding uh, young man. So if you'll stand there at your desk, we'll get a picture of you receiving the certificate. Can I, I'd like to say one thing. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, there's only 24 hours in a day, and so many of us seem to squander it some kind of way. But um, uh, I write inspiration of poetry, and that's why I've got to say something. Uh, it's just a blessing to find somebody that can utilize this time and, and do so much with it, so much good with it, you know. And that ought to be encouragement for everybody else that we waste so much time every day and it seems like we never get anything done. But, but it seems like you got the right idea about it, and I applaud you for that. Thank you. So which category do you think we're in? I'm pretty sure I know what category I'm in. <laughs> category in which we Wasted. Well, <laughs> we're not uh, in this category that he just mentioned. Or no. <laughs> well, the Brandon is in. Let me ask you something, Brandon. I know your dad well. I had him in high school. Yeah. He can't. Uh, you got a black belt, second degree? Yes, sir. He doesn't mess with you, does he? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's good. Well, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. We've um, anyone in the audience wish to address the board at this time? Seeing none, we will proceed. We're ready for uh, ready for board reports. Miss King. Well, I'm a little intimidated after listening to you and all your accomplishments, and to um, and I applaud you and I applaud your parents um, for um, setting a wonderful example for someone who works that many hours and is that involved in our community. So we really do appreciate that. So, uh, in the past couple of weeks, um, I have attended the CEO um, school kickoff at Tellem High School. Uh, the school year is off and running, and I think. Um, uh, a lot of the CEO uh, schools have set up meetings and will be having their kickoff soon. Also volunteered um, at Morning Point, which I do every month, and called bingo for our seniors there. Always enjoy that. Uh, attended the city swim party, and Costa and her group did a wonderful job, as usual. The food was amazing, and um, I think everybody enjoyed um, attending that last Sunday evening. And I uh, attended the planning and coordinating meeting we just recently had. So. That's it. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Ms. King. Alderman Duncan. Thank you, Mayor. I attended the Chamber Coffee, uh, the Chamber Mixer at CFC also, and um, and I did intend to participate in the cupcake <laughs> battle down at Northgate Mall, but I, I chose not to because my muffins, I, as counselor over there, he knows I make some mean muffins, and uh, 
uh, my muffins come with a, the warning says uh, they're so good you'll beat your brains out smacking your lips so I chose not to get engaged in that just because of that warning so anyway and they're good for you too so that's a good thing I did attend the TADC meeting and uh, I'd like to say congratulations to all the city and county officials who ran and and were successful and to those that who ran had a put up a good good race and 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 maybe did not prevail but uh the bottom and uh, thanks to all those who served uh before maybe retiring at this time but um i just want to congratulate everybody for that um i did attend the uh mayor's uh the uh, coordinating meeting uh, and I wanted to say something about the Elk River District Association. It's an association of 14, 13 churches that my church is part of. I am the historian for them. They've been in business for 152 years, and they just celebrated their uh, 152nd anniversary this past week. And it all culminated on yesterday at the Coffee County Conference Center where we had dinner. Um, and, and I wanted to say kudos to, to the Manchester Police Department, the uh, 911, and, and the, the ambulance authority because we had one of our pastors had a, had a he passed out or briefly and had an, uh, an incident and and so they were all around and thank God we had three nurses in that group of people that were we had about 100 people there and there were three nurses in the bunch that took care of him we all stood around fanning him until the um, Manchester Police Department got there they had uh, an emergency crew that got there a few minutes before the the ambulance service and so they with everybody's help uh, they hauled him off he was in good spirits when they hauled him off he wound up taking him to Nashville to get some tests run and and I heard he's back home today, so thank God for that. It was just truly a blessing. So anyway, that all culminated, and it was a good whole about a half of a week event. So uh, thank you all. That's done and over for another year. So. <laughs> thank you, Alderman. Alderman Mathis. No report tonight, sir. Thank you, Alderman Dunn. Um, just some upcoming stuff. I've got a, a Go Green meeting. It's going to be the first week in September. And we've got a master recycling program coming up in late September. And a housing authority will be this week. Good. Thank you. Alderman Norris. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, a couple of activities recently attended the uh, pool party, which was a very good custom. Uh, We'll be attending the uh, the EDC meeting in the morning at eight o'clock, and the uh, airport board meeting tomorrow night. Couple of comments. I'd like to say I'm sorry to hear that Bojangles is leaving town. I don't know where I'm going for breakfast on Saturday mornings now. So uh, I miss miss them. Hate to see them leaving. And regarding Alderman Duncan's comment about time utilization. I had a supervisor who explained that to me once. He said, Noah, if you can't get it done in 24 hours a day, you'll have to start working nights. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have. <laughs> but where one other thing, I do have another comment. Don't want to leave you on that. Uh, some few weeks ago, uh, we had a conversation about moving our election cycle from every year to every other year. I've spoken to our attorney about this issue. I know he's on top of it. I know he's not had any responses back from the AG, but I would like to get it on our conversation agenda to get that moved forward. Okay. I think if we continue to wait, we may wait for another year or another two years. I don't know how long we'll have to wait. I think we have to take the initiative to get this moved forward. Our previous administrator did a great job of putting forward some recommendations for uh, cycles of election and for you know, serve for the time served. That would be good to uh, for us to revisit, I think. And I'd like for you to help us move sure. that conversation forward. We'll, we'll, we'll check with Ms. Bowling and Senator Bowling and see if she can help us move it along. Because all the, all those requests now have to come through as state representative for state senator. Okay. The only thing I, you see on your. Um, uh, tables that we have an, an additional agenda item with uh, the agenda item 18-124 so we'll at the appropriate time we'll discuss that but if someone would make a motion that we amend our agenda to allow agenda item 18-124 so moved second okay. proper motion properly seconded uh, all those in favor of the motion as presented both green opposed appropriate and passes uh, six to zero. All right, so we'll deal with 
that in just a few minutes. Okay, we have a consent agenda, 18114 minutes of the July 23rd meeting, 18115 approve the annual maintenance agreement with m and Microsystems, 18116 donation of rescue equipment to the fire department, 18117 approve Tennessee Department of Agriculture grant contract urban tree planting project, 18118 approve bids for leaf and brush removal agreement, 18119 set a public hearing for a text amendment to the administrative hearing officer ordinance number section 12-1601. And 18120 approve the city administrator employment agreement. Is there a motion to adopt the consent agenda? Motion to adopt. Second. I have a motion by Alderman Duncan, seconded by Mr. Mowers. All those in favor of the consent agenda is presented by Queen the first vote. Motion passes six to zero. We have one item of old business, ordinance number 1504, ordinance of the city of Columbia, Tennessee, to amend ordinance number 1485, titled Adopting the Annual Budget and Tax Rate for the Fiscal Year Beginning July 1st, 2017, and ending June 30th, 2018, for passage on third and final reading. As you see in your agenda package on page 60 for the next 40 pages, uh, there's been some, this is the final, and I assume, Ms. Wilson, this is the final uh, numbers that have come in now. Is that right? Right, along with the school budget. Right. So there, we need to have a motion on the floor to uh, amend to reflect the uh, uh, changes that have been made. But first of all, let's get a motion on the floor for ordinance number 1504. Move to amend. Move to amend. Uh, motion by Mr. Noah, seconded by Ms. King. All right, so now we need to offer an amendment to, to attach to the Ordinance 1504 to reflect the final changes. Is there an amendment? Move to amend. Second. Move to amend. Second. Same two. Mm -hmm. Any discussion? All those in favor of the amended ordinance number 1504, but green opposed, vote red. Motion passes six to zero. Now we have several items of new business, uh, the <coughs> first part of which are uh, first of two readings on earlier uh, public hearings were held. Ordinance number 1505, an ordinance of the City of Tillman, Tennessee, to amend the zoning ordinance, which is ordinance number 1392, by amending section 1006.2, public hearing of Article 10, administration, for the passage on the first of two readings. Is there a motion to adopt? So moved. Proper motion by Mr. Mathis. Second. Second by Alderman Duncan. Any discussion? This is only the first of two readings. All those in favor of the discussion? This is only the first of two readings. All those in favor of ordinance 1505, vote mm -hmm. green, opposed vote red. Motion passes six to zero. Ordinance number 1506, ordinance of the City of Tullamy, Tennessee, to amend the zoning map of the City of Tullamy, Tullahoma, as set forth in the Tullamy Municipal Code, ordinance number 1392, to rezone a point four <coughs> acre parcel located at 810 Cedar Lane uh, from C2 General Commercial District to R1 Low Density Residential District. For passage on the first of two readings, we earlier held a public hearing, planning commission. Ooh was favorable in their recommendation. Is there a motion to adopt on first reading ordinance number 1506? Move to adopt. Proper motion by Mr. Noah, seconded by? Second. Mr. Duncan, any discussion? All those in favor? Ordinance number 1506, vote green, opposed vote red. Motion passes six to zero. Ordinance number 1507, ordinance of the city of Tillamon, Tennessee to amend the zoning map of the city of Tullahoma as set forth in the Tellum Municipal Code, which is ordinance number 1392, to rezone a 0.45 acre parcel located at 515 East Warren Street from C2 General Commercial District to R2 Medium Density Residential District for passage on the first of two readings. We earlier held a public hearing. The Planning Commission was favorable on their recommendation. Is there a motion to adopt? Motion to adopt. Offer a motion by Mr. Duncan. Second. Second by Mr. Noah. Any discussion? All those in favor of ordinance number 1507, vote green, opposed vote red. Motion passes six to zero. You're good. First reading. Ordinance number 1508, ordinance of the City of Tullamy, Tennessee, to amend the zoning map of the City of Tullahoma, City of Tullahoma is set forth in the Tullahoma Municipal Code, which is ordinance number 1392, to rezone a 3.17 acre parcel located on Kings Lane from C2 General Commercial District to R3 High Density Residential District for passage on the first of two readings. We earlier held a public hearing. We received a favorable recommendation from the Planning Commission. Is there a motion to adopt? Move to adopt. Second. Motion by Mr. Nova, second by Ms. King. Any discussion? I'm, I'm excited about this. This one here. Yep. This is well needed. Yep, I agree 100%.
All those in favor, warrant number 1508, vote green, opposed, vote red. Motion passes six to zero. Ordinance number 1509, ordinance of the City of Tillamah, Tennessee, to amend the zoning map of the City of Tillahoma as set forth in the Tillamah Municipal Code, which is ordinance number 1392, to rezone seven parcels addressed as 1906 North Washington, 1908 North Washington, 1910 North Washington, 2000 North Washington Court, 2004 North Washington Court, 2008 North Washington Court, and 2012 North Washington Court from I-1 Restricted Manufacturing and Warehousing District to R-2 Medium Density Residential District for passage on the first of two readings. We earlier held a public hearing. The Planning Commission <coughs> offered a favorable recommendation. Is there a motion to adopt? So moved to adopt. A motion by Mr. Mathis, seconded by Mr. Nowis. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of Ordinance Number 1509, vote green, opposed, vote red. Motion passes six to zero. Okay, for the next 1758, 59 through uh, 1774, are all resolution authorizing appropriation for financial aid. So unless there is an objection, we will deal with all of these at one time. Is there an objection? Seeing none, then we will all entertain a motion that we accept resolutions number 1758 through 1774. Motion picks it. Second. Got the motion on Mr. Duncan, second on Ms. Keene. Any discussion? All those in, in discussion, no discussion. All those in favor of the motion as made, vote green, opposed, vote red. Motion passes six to zero. Resolution number 1775, a resolution authorizing the City of Tillamah to participate in the TML Risk Management Pool Safety Partners Loss Control Matching Grant Program. So motion that we approve resolution 1775. Offer motion by Mr. Novus. Second. Second by Mr. Mathis. Any discussion? The complete description is on page 175 of your songbook. <laughs> All, no discussion. All those in favor, vote green, opposed, vote red. Motion passes six to zero. Resolution number 1776, a resolution approving a change to the bylaws of the Tillamah Arts Council. This allows members to participate that currently reside in the urban growth boundary. So a motion to adopt resolution 1776. Motion to adopt. A motion by Mr. Duncan, second by Ms. King. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of Resolution 1776, vote green, opposed, vote red. Motion passes 6 to 0. Uh, item number 18121, acceptance of bids, purchase of fire apparatus. This is exciting. You see that discussion on page 180. Is there a motion? Motion to approve. Offer motion by Ms. Keene. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Mathis. Any discussion? Mr. Chastain, do you have any, anything that you'd like to say? Thank you. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a pretty safe bet. Yeah. This is, this is an excellent piece of equipment. Just describe for the, for the board and the community. <coughs> well, uh, We've, we've had some aging equipment. We've replaced some of it along the way, and this is just one more in the cycle of replacement for a fire engine. Uh, and we expect this a little bit a little bit different this time. Uh, during our recent ISO inspection, uh, they want us to have 3,500 gallons of water per minute within the first eight minutes. Right now, we have to take three trucks to do that. Each truck does about 1,500. So it takes three to reach 35. So we spec this one with a 2,000 gallon per minute pump. So now we can make that, which is two pumpers. We're not stretching our people so thin. So it's gonna make a huge difference in our response capabilities. Once we arrive, we'll have, we'll have more people that can work instead of three people being tied up driving. Yeah. So it's gonna be, going be a good thing for us. Yeah. Good report. Yeah. Yes, sir. How does it fit within the budget? It's coming from the bond issue. So the money is available. Or 90% of it's coming from the bond issue. Part of it's coming from Mr. Chastain's salary, as I recall. <laughs> whatever. whatever I need to do, Mayor. <laughs> Team player. Thank you, Mr. Chastain. Thank you. Ready to vote? 
All those recent vote for item number 18121, vote green, opposed, vote red. Motion passes 6 to 0. Congratulations, Ms. Justin. Mm -hmm. Okay, 18122, accept agency representative appointments to the Arts Council. You see on page 181, we've got uh, some, some folks that wish to be, to be uh, these are mayor appointments. I'm excited about each one of them and the participation that uh, each will uh, bring. So, uh, tell, tell them the high school, Atticus Hensley, tell them the Art Center, Pauline Steinbrick, and uh, Community Playhouse, Debbie Sanders, and South Jackson Civic Center, Pauline Sanders. So, I'm pleased to make those appointments at this time. Uh, accept at large appointment to the Arts Council. You see on page 192, we need to announce um, that Cindy Sneed term has expired and she has agreed to serve again if reappointed by the VMA. Her new term will expire on August 13, 2021. So, uh, please once again to ask Ms. Sneed uh, to, uh, to serve and we appreciate her service. So, I'm pleased to appoint her. Now, we have one item of new business, which we amended our agenda. I'm excited to announce, uh, thanks to the chair of our sports council, uh, Jim Bratcher, that, uh, that two fine individuals, longtime Tallahassee citizens, have offered $100,000 donation mm. for the purpose of funding the Tallahassee Sports Hall of Fame mm. to be created for the citizens of Tallahassee by the Tallahassee Sports Council. I ask the board mayor and alderman to accept the contribution on behalf of the Tallahassee Sports Council. Folks, this is an exciting uh, thing for Telehall. So um, I would appreciate a motion that we uh, move. A motion. A second. <laughs> That's a slew of motions. Amen. Uh, uh, a second? Yes, yeah, second. So um, I'm excited about this and what this is going to do. And I appreciate very, very much uh, Jim, Jim, Jim Brancher, the chair of the Sports Council, and, and other members of the Sports Council for bringing this to a reality. So any discussion? Just thank you. I mean, yeah, this is amazing. This, I mean, we don't get contributions like this. Um, and this is just thank you, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Sports Council, I know they appreciate this, but so does our community. Sure. This is just wonderful. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Mayor, I'd like to say that um, Mr. Stewart is a friend of mine, mm -hmm. a friend of this community. Obviously, he's a friend of the community, and, uh, and it, while he's been a friend for a long time, I'm still surprised. I think everyone is surprised at the generosity of this gentleman, but uh, we, we thank him. Yep, sure do. I don't think he would mind me saying this, but uh, in about two weeks he will celebrate his 100th birthday. Ooh wee! So we want to... Um, so everyone will be invited. Uh, they're having a celebration, um, 100th birthday celebration at First Baptist Church Annex uh, on uh, Saturday, August the 25th. So any and all are invited. And, uh, so it'll be a birthday party, but we want to also I'll be there to thank him for his very generous contribution. Mm -hmm. Saturday, August 25th, First Baptist Church, Annex. Okay, did we vote? No. Okay. All those wishing to vote for accepting this donation, vote green, opposed to vote red. <laughs> Motion passes six to zero. Thank you, Mr. Blackwell, for helping out as well. Mr. Worsham was a part of that. Ms. Wilson, thank you. Um, Kirk Lick obviously was involved in this. Weston Brooks was involved. So thanks everybody. Good, good job. Okay, any other business? Come before the board at this time. If not, we will adjourn and go immediately into the beer board portion of the agenda. We have a consent agenda item 18 BB 20 minutes of the July 23rd beer board meeting. Is there a motion to adopt the consent agenda? So moved. I have a motion by Mr. Mathis, seconded by Mr. Nowis. All those in favor of the consent agenda is presented by Green opposed vote red. Motion passes six to zero. Item number 18, BB21, beer application on premise, Apple uh, doing business as Applebee's Grill and Bar, 1957 North Jackson Street, Tullahoma. This is simply a uh, change of, uh, is it ownership or manage? Ownership. Ownership, okay. 
Uh, anyone here representing <coughs> Appleby? Um, <coughs> Ms. Golden, is everything in order? Um, we have to have the final fire inspection. Okay. So. Ms. Mayor, we, we did that this afternoon. Okay, it's so all, we're good? It's all in good shape. Yes, good. Sir. Okay. Thank you. All right, so the chair will uh, accept the motion that we accept um, the change in ownership. Motion to of the Applebee's. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Duncan, second by Ms. Keene. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? The application, vote green, opposed, vote red. Did you want to talk? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for being here. We, we, we appreciate uh, Applebee's and the investment in the community. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Motion passes six to zero. Beer application, special event permit, nonprofit, Mr. Jason Red, Holly Rim Kiwanis, 41A Music and Arts Festival. Uh, let me get a motion on the floor. Is there a motion to accept and, and uh, to waive the uh, permit? Motion so, to approve. Second. Uh, and, and waive the permit. And waive the permit. Okay. Proper motion by Ms. Keene, seconded by Mr. Mathis. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of the motion are presented by Green. Post vote red. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Mr. Red, did you want to speak? And what? Just to, like to say thank you for your continued support of the event. And yeah, would you like to say you. the date? Yeah, why don't you step to the podium? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little plug? Yeah. The uh, ninth annual 41A Music and Arts Festival is September 28th and 29th of this year. We've got a pretty good lineup. We're excited about it. We're going to start a little bit later on Saturday than we usually do. Uh, hopefully, we'll uh, be able to have a larger crowd later. Uh, we've usually done three performers in the evening slots on both Friday and Saturday. This time we're going to a dual headliner uh, format on Saturday night, so just two bigger bands playing for an hour and 45 minutes each instead of an hour, hour 15, hour 45. So uh, something new for us this year, just still trying to make sure we know what works and what people want. And, uh, we think we might have dialed it in pretty good this time. Well, thank you. <laughs> Are you in a position to tell who some of the Acts might be, or if not, sure. that's fine. Uh, legendary Americana artist Cody Canada and his band, The Departed, is going to be our headliner on, headliner on Friday night. Saturday night, we have a couple of uh, tribute slash cover bands uh, that are very popular and tour nationally. The first is Velcro Pygmies, which does an 80 90s hair band tribute. Very, very energetic show. I think they're going to be the first band on Saturday night, and then a group called Saved by the 90s, which does the 90s alternative pop. Uh, Rock is going to be uh, the headliner performer, but the Velcro Pygmies management says, well, good luck following us, <laughs> so I may switch them around <laughs> if their show uh, promises to be a little more engaging. Huh. But, uh, we're excited. Either way, it's going to be a great, great, yeah. a great night. Sounds like fun. Thank you all thank for your support. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm sorry. We didn't vote. We didn't vote. And, well, Noah's sorry. All right, now we all voted. Uh, May I show it? Yes, please. Okay. We're ready with bated breath. There you go. Six to zero. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> okay, beer application, 18, B, 18 BB23 beer application, special event permit, nonprofit, Ms. Tammy Hope Sarton, Chamber of Commerce, Young Professionals, Coffee County, Young Professionals, Tailgate Social. She asked for it to be pulled. Okay, good. All right, I had a little question about that one. All right. So, uh, if no objection, we will uh, pull that application. Any other business? We are adjourned. Everybody have a safe evening. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>